Today I'm going to show you how to build the most useful shop accessory. A boom arm is the perfect addition to any small shop. Wow, I need one for my shop. That doesn't look too hard. Uh, no! Oh no. Oh f God, that's way too long. No! Let's do it. So the Dust Deputy is going to help us with the dust collection here and the boom arm. So it's going to be, we're going to build that first. I have this Dust Deputy forever already. So we're going to do that now. So we need to get rid of this. This is very flexible, this thing here. So next, we have to drill those holes. So now we're gonna seal it. So this is fixed up. This is one part of our dust collection system that we are putting in right now for the boom arm. And next we're gonna build the boom arm. So we're not gonna use plywood for our boom arm, having lying around a spare two x four. So I'm just gonna use that two x four, stick it on there and see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna measure out here 180. So 180 makes it exactly the middle of my table. I can also like run it over this way and I run it over this way, so it basically hits all my area that I'm working at. Next time, gear protection. Jesus Christ. It's gonna be a lot of weight on that one. Let's see if that works. So I'm gonna tap them first. Just so it's easier for me. Those self-tapping screws are pretty high. So I have I might have an issue here right now. Yeah. <laughs> no! Okay now we have to figure this out. This is gonna be a bit trickier. Guys, my recommendation is to buy the whole kit. I was cheap and I didn't, so now I'm struggling here. So we'll make it work with ceiling foam again. Because ceiling foam is cheap. Guys, so we now need to figure out how much of this we need because this side goes into. So this is the cheapest system that you can get, like how I do it here. If you have a shop quack away with those hoses, the only expensive thing was the deputy, but the rest of the material was like 20 bucks. Okay, this one worked well now with the ceiling foam. Now we're gonna go get the cable going. Oh, first we have to do this, this piece here and then we cable everything up and test it out. Okay, so we're doing the piping with um, cable ties, same as the power cable, and we just get it up and running. Then we plug in the original one from our Ryobi shop rack, and then we're basically done with our project. I have this row seal here, hose seal, hose reel here. We're gonna mount that quickly. I wish I've mounted that already before. Okay guys, so you can't see that probably, but this one is tipping down quite, a, quite a, a lot. So I'm trying to get the support brace in there So at the moment. So now obviously after the effect, it's going to be quite tough, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to support it here with a scrap um, a piece of wood and then I try to get this support piece going and get a second hinge going. So hopefully that will fix it up. Oh no. Oh, f Moment of truth, does it move down and how much? 
A little bit I can deal with. Oh, wow. Way better. Okay guys, this was an awesome build. Shout out to John from Lincoln Street. This boom arm is really an awesome shop accessory. And he's right, it is super satisfying to just swing it around. If you like this video, you will absolutely love this one. And as always, I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.